Yo, yo, back at it once again. Favorite entrepreneurs, favorite entrepreneur, your boy, official Tyree Sammons. So today we're actually gonna be switching up and we're gonna be going over a different series of videos that I'm gonna start posting, which are gonna be setups that I've actually taken myself, also setups you guys are gonna have access to in my free Forex Signals Telegram chat. So if you guys wanna be able to get access to the chat, as well as start to be able to learn more from seeing how I take my trades, why I take my trades, and where I'm looking to get in and get out, I'll see you guys on the next clip. Peace. Yo, yo, everybody, back at it once again. Favorite entrepreneurs, favorite entrepreneur, your boy, official Tyree Salmon. So before y'all go any further, make sure y'all go ahead and hit that subscribe button, as well as whenever you hit that subscribe button, go ahead and hit that thumbs up and the like button, because I want y'all to know that YouTube knows that y'all know that I know that you know that I'm the bomb. So if y'all can go ahead and do that, I would really appreciate it. Now, with that being said, today, we're going to be doing a new series of videos I'm going to start dropping weekly. So these are going to be videos basically going over my chart markups charts that i've sent to the chat um and trade ideas that i've actually leveraged with my own money okay so i'm gonna be dropping these as consistently as possible i'm gonna start back making sure i'm adding a good amount of information to these so you guys can you know start taking advantage of how to trade and you know things like that so today as you guys saw in the video what we're going to be talking about is we're actually going to be talking about usdjpy okay usdjpy so usdjpy is going to be a forex pair um, primarily, I basically only trade Forex pairs. I trade gold sometimes. That's a commodity. I don't trade indices. Um, I invest in crypto. I don't really like leverage trade crypto or um, Forex trade crypto. Okay. So we're going to be talking about USDJPY. So if you guys are currently looking at my chart, you can see I have the short position, which means that we're looking for a sell on this setup. Now, USDJPY um actually did you know go in my direction as you guys can see um from the title of the thumbnail this actually went for about 125 pips ish and we're going to break down exactly why i took the setup um why i had my targets where i had them and you know some of the confirmations i was looking for so the thing that i would like to do since i am still holding this position is i want to be able to pull up a fresh chart for you guys so i'm going to go ahead and pull up the oanda chart and then we're going to go ahead and dive right into it so for me, um, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Oh, so for me, basically, whenever I'm personally looking for uh, trading setups, this is basically how I work. Okay, so my trading style is really different. So a lot of you guys are gonna start noticing. Um, you know, it's gonna be some things that I may not do that others do. So, you know, usually to be real, I'm not necessarily doing a whole bunch of top down analysis but for the purpose of the video i'm definitely going to um, be making sure i do that but whenever you guys get on my live trading calls you're going to see the way i kind of maneuver is a little bit different um but you know all the other videos that i post are not going to have all this talking in the front this is just letting you guys know what's to come with all these videos so each time i do a video moving forward i don't have to do so much explaining i can just go directly into the information okay so this as you guys can see um i like to look at a lot of things on a one hour time frame that's me personally you know like one hour four hour daily uh, my favorite time frame to view things is the one hour. So if we're looking at the one hour, we can obviously see that this is a, you know, obviously bullish market. <clears throat> okay. This is obviously a bullish market. So there's going to be a couple of different things I've learned in my trading journey. This is obviously going to be called a trend line. So most people that trade or most people that have done some simple Google searches or watched a few YouTube videos you've heard of, or you understand the purpose of a trend line. So the purpose of a trend line is we want to be able to see whenever the market hits this trend line, we want to be able to see a reaction in the same direction. So this bought, so we like to see this buy, and then we like to see this buy, okay? So with that trend line, there's another thing that I also learned um, from my mentors. This trend line can be looked at two different ways, right? You can look at this trend line as an opportunity for if the market comes back down, you can try to buy it back up again, or there are going to be people that are now looking at this trend line to be broken, maybe retested, before it continues to drop. Me, I was the, I was one of those people that was basically looking for this. I was looking for that trend line to break, okay? So now that I see that it's overall bullish, um, I need to be looking for an opportunity to be able to take the sale, okay? So there's gonna be something called liquidity sweeps, right? A lot of this information I might be going over, I'm gonna be making separate videos going over all this information so you guys collectively understand what I'm speaking on. So what is a liquidity sweep? A liquidity sweep is basically gonna be you know, when a high or a low gets taken out. So notice this high was formed in the market. 
And then this high ended up trading higher than this previous high. This can be considered a break of structure, which means a previous structure level is broken. Or for other people, it could just be considered a liquidity sweep. So for me, I was more so looking at this as a liquidity sweep. So once the market takes a previous high or low, it then has a reason to you know, look for a possible reversal. So I personally like trading reversals a lot. This would be an example of a reversal because this is not technically trading with the trend. So the biggest thing you guys want to understand is, am I trading with the trend? Am I trading against the trend? I'm trading against the trend, okay? So the first thing I identified is that we have a trend line that I would like to see broken, okay? I then identified that I have a liquidity sweep, meaning that the market came, hit somebody's previous stop losses. Now I could be looking for an opportunity to sell it, okay? So once I've done all that, the next thing I want to start looking at is like my RSI. So the RSI, I usually use this to be able to detect divergence. Um, divergence is going to be one of those tools that you can utilize in trading. So basically the concept of divergence is, say this market is going up. If I actually wanted to be able to see if I had divergence, I'd want to see this market going down, which you guys can see. Okay, it's not a big difference, but you can clearly see from here to here, this market is obviously going down. But if we look up at the chart from here to here, or what we could say from here to about here. So in this area that you guys can see, if I take uh, the vertical lines, draw them right here. All right, so we could do that, basically. So from here to here, you guys can clearly see this market was going up at the same time on the RSI, the market was going down. It's gonna be called divergence, okay? So divergence is a strong indicator of a reversal or a continuation in the trend. Since I'm looking for a reversal, that's what I wanna be able to look at that for as far as a confirmation, okay? So now we have the trend line I would like to see broken. We have a liquidity sweep, we have divergence. The next thing I wanna do is I wanna be able to find an institutional candle, okay? If you guys do not know what an institutional candle is, like I said before, I will be making separate YouTube videos of these, but basically institutional candle is going to be an engulfing candle. So if you don't know what an engulfing candle is, it's whenever you guys see you have a big candle next to a small candle immediately to the left. This big candle is going to be basically the concept of the market, putting a lot of money into the market. And if you can see this, you know, relative with, you know, other confirmations, this can be a telltale sign that you could be looking for the opportunity to take a trade as far as that being a symbol of an entry, okay? So you being able to get into the market whenever you see a formation like that. Now, for me, what I usually like to do is I like to be able to flip time frames until I can actually find, you know, something that I like. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna reverse and go back to what the setup looked like at the time that I took it so you guys are able to see everything with me. So at the time that I took the trade, right, the thing that I usually like to do is Whenever I get my confirmations, my entry candle is always an institutional candle. So I'm going to flip through these different time frames, right, until I can find, you know, an institutional candle that I like. So I don't know what just happened. Uh, give me one second. All right, bet. So this is going to be an institutional candle that I ended up finding. This is actually going to be on the two hour. So if I'm on a one hour time frame, which is what I was just showing you guys. There's actually an institutional candle here. Okay. How do I know that this big red candle is bigger than the green candle to the left? Now, the thing that I really want to be able to focus on, right, is going to be okay, it looks like this entry is already taken off. So if I go up to the next time frame, it's going to be the two hour. Okay. So on the two hour time frame, you guys can see it basically looks exactly the same. Okay. If I go back to my RSI, Right, we can see that my RSI is actually in our extreme levels. So anything outside of this purple box is the extreme levels, which basically means that if the market gets up here, there's a possibility that you could be looking for a pullback or a sell. If the market gets down here, as you guys can see, you can be looking for an opportunity to buy the market. Okay. So since the market is up here in the extremes, I'm looking for an opportunity to sell the market. Okay. So now I can see I have a two hour engulfing candle. Now for me, the only other thing I need to do from all the confirmations that I've got is I just now need to figure out where am I gonna get in, okay? All my confirmations for what I look for are gonna be here. 
So now I'm going to look for where am I going to get in? So what I could do is I personally like to be able to do the 50% of a candle. Okay. What exactly do I mean by that? So whenever I'm looking to take the 50% of a candle, okay, that basically means of this body, right, of the body of the candle, not including the wicks, right, not including the wicks, I want to be able to see 50% of the volume. So the same way that you guys can take advantage of a Fibonacci tool, similar to this right here, right, see how this is a Fibonacci, got 61, 71, 78, 88.6. This is also a Fibonacci but it's only the 50%. So what happens is a lot of times on these engulfing candles, there are usually going to be three areas that you can look for a possible entry. Okay. The first one is going to be called the opening. Okay. So this is going to be represented as the opening of the candle. You also have the wick and then you would have the 50%. Okay. So these would be one, two, three different possible entries for one candle that you guys could look at. Now, for me, I usually never pay attention to the wick um, just because the stop loss is usually not the best. It's always going to be for me between the open and the 50 percent. So basically, this is going to be like my trading zone. So if I were to get the market to pull back in this zone, that's where I could be looking for an opportunity to sell it now. As far as like the exact entry, I'll save that for like other videos. I just want to be able to kind of start off by showing you guys, you know, examples of exactly what I'm looking for. I'll get more specific in later videos. Okay. So now that I have an entry zone, I'm going to let this play out and basically show you guys what happened. So as you guys can see, the market did react. It put us in a little bit of drawdown, but it eventually ended up giving a pretty major drop off. Okay. Now, the next thing I want to be able to show you guys is how did I come up with my target areas, right? One, two, three, four. So I have four different take profits. Now, this is an easy way for you guys to be able to start looking for take profits. I'm going to show you. So the way that I like to look at it is you can actually use a Fibonacci to be able to get take profits, okay? So even though this is a Fib retracement for a buy, I can still use these parameters or these fib zones as a TP. Let me explain. So if I start off from the bottom to the high, technically this was a break of structure. So technically this is an uptrend. Technically it could continue to go up, but before it does that, we need a retracement. So me knowing that we need a retracement means that these levels could be a magnet of where the market would possibly retrace to before it continues to go higher if that's what it's going to do at all. So what I ended up doing is the 61% for me on reversal trades is usually going to be one of the take profits that I use. Reason being is I don't use a 50% on my FIB. Um, I just like to use 61.8 minimum. So anything within this zone is going to be valid. So I usually just want to use the first one that's available, which is a 61.8. So this is going to count as one of my take profits. So as you guys can see perfectly, you can see that the market ended up dropping about 138 pips directly to the 61.8 before you got that reaction. So from this reaction, the market could continue to go up. Maybe it drops down a little bit more, or maybe it just completely falls out the sky and continues to sell off. Either way, I've obviously already made my money. I've obviously already hit take profit. I've obviously already taking partial. So this is something that you would just have at break even, and then you would kind of just let it ride out. Now, as I said before, this was just like one example of me showing you guys in a very simple context of, you know, different things I'm looking for as far as confirmations. I am going to be able to make more videos. The other videos that I make are going to be in more detail. Um, I'm going to start going over showing you guys exactly where I entered, why I entered here, and then so on and so forth. So with that being said, if you guys were able to come watch this video and kind of get an example, of exactly what you like to see. This is what I would this is what I would like to advise to you guys. Okay. So I'm about to go to Telegram. Okay. And what I would recommend that you guys do is my Instagram that I'm going to drop right here at official Tyree Samus. Go to my Instagram. Okay. And then whenever you go to my Instagram, I want you to click on uh my link in my bio. I'm gonna put a picture right here. Click on the link in my bio and I want you to go join my free telegram chat. Okay. It's going to be called Legacy Wealth Signals. Now, Legacy Wealth Signals, if you guys click right here at the top, 
I'm actually going to have an entire um, little spill for you guys to be able to go over so you guys understand exactly what to do, how to come into the chat, and how to be able to proceed. And you guys are going to be able to see some of the trade I did. So this week, I only sent out about four trades. We went two, one, and one, almost 300 pips, but 300 pips on only two trades. So think about 300 pips on two trades, and there's almost 150 pips per trade. So the USD JPY setup that I actually showed you guys um, is going to be right here. So if you guys want to be able to actually get access to these trade ideas that I'm sending out and I'm showing you guys on YouTube, you might want to join my Telegram chat. So as you guys can see, right, right here, you guys can clearly see this yellow line is going to represent my entry. This is going to be my stop loss. And then these are going to be my targets. We actually got all the way down here to the third target, which is where that 61.8 Fibonacci zone was that I drew up for you guys. You see, guys, I give you the parameters, the stop loss, you know how many pips you're risking, you know what your risk to reward is. So definitely make sure as you guys are watching these YouTube videos, you tap into the Telegram chat and you start taking advantage of the free trade ideas because maybe one day I may stop sending or maybe one day they might not be free anymore. So with that being said, you guys came to this video, you learned something, you're going to go show somebody else. Let me get you guys to go ahead and hit that like button, okay? Because you know that I know that if you like, comment, and share, you can spread the joy, right? The next thing I would appreciate you guys to do is if you could hit that subscribe button because you want to be able to get the notification first. You don't want to have to go type in my name. You want to just get it to pop up on your feed, right? Finally, if you guys see it, go ahead and click that thumbs up because YouTube likes the thumbs up. I like the thumbs up. And because I just want y'all to know that YouTube needs to see it so I can keep coming back, okay? Now, with that being said, I appreciate everything that you guys do as far as supporting me. I will be back to my original consistency and it will not be another month before I drop another video. So with that being said, I'm going to see you guys at the top, not from the top because the bottom is way too crowded. Love, peace, and chicken grease. Deuces.